Step three, penguin walk. On a flat area, try hopping from your tail to your nose, tail to nose, back and forth repeatedly. From this movement, you can start to add a little direction. If you stack your weight over your toeage and create a little bit of edge angle while doing this back and forth movement, you'll find that your board starts to move forwards. This is called the penguin walk, and snowboarders use this to get around on flat areas without having to unstrap one of their feet. It's very similar to the positions you use for a lot of buttering tricks, so we're using this to build our skills. The more weight you put over your toe edge and the more edge you create, the more distance you'll be able to cover while you're doing the penguin walk. Once it's easy moving forwards, we're gonna try it out backwards on the heel edge. Stack your weight over your heel edge, create a little bit of edge angle by lifting your toes, and add that to the back and forwards motion. You're now penguin walking backwards, and this is significantly harder than doing it forwards. We don't actually use this to get around, but it's a technique to build your buttering skills. As you penguin walk, you may notice that one arm is working with the opposite end of the board. This is the exact same as counter rotation. And if you get a bit of a swing on while you're doing the penguin walk with your opposite arm and opposite side of the board, you'll be able to cover a lot more distance in each hop. This penguin walk is another thing you can practice at home in your living room with a training board. This tutorial is filmed at Worcester Blackburn. I'm Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your writing.